welcome to the piano from Los Angeles, California, another songwriter who flew in from the coast for this show, Mr. Alan Chapman. <laughs> To, to thank Tom and Victoria Orden for including me on the Yale team. Uh, and I'm very proud the song I'm going to sing for you appeared in the film New Faces of 1938. No, 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 no. Get some mixed up. Uh, it actually did appear in a movie called Trick, which you may have seen, uh, thanks to a guy named Jay Rogers who sang it around in the piano bars of this very city and brought it to the attention of the people who made the movie. But the story, which I will tell, uh, because I think it... Uh, it will illuminate the song. Uh, the story of the song goes back uh, a number of years ago to a small cabaret in West Hollywood, California called The Gardenia. And it was on this particular night that I met a gentleman named Jim J. Bullock. Now some of you may know him from his television work, and I knew him from his television work. And when he said that he was going to get back to his greatest love in show business, a cabaret act, I thought, oh my God, I'm gonna write an opening number for you. And off the top of my head came a title and he thought it was funny, and I thought it was funny. Neither of us suspected I would actually write the song within the next few days, and I wrote it, and, and he, he came over, and, and it was per perfectly suited to his flamboyant personality, shall we say. And, and he said, okay, I like the song, but I'm not gonna do the cabaret show right now. I'm, I'm going off to Canada to do musical theater. And so I sat and, and waited as he did musical theater, he did straight, he did theater, um, and, <laughs> And that left me with a very important choice. I could either acknowledge this is a song I wrote so specifically for one person and just let it sit in a drawer at home, or I could do it myself with a very long introduction. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 